Behind the Brand takes an inside look at the people that are making things happen. From up and coming entrepreneurs to the big guys, we show you how they go about their business. Meet the innovators with the know how and vision to succeed. Get behind the brand. So you're saying really do active listening. Find out what, what interviews they want. maybe even you know is is how I would look at it. I mean survey them, but in a very um, what you're looking for is common threads. I can't tell you how many times I've done that with clients, and and we will get the the most killer message or strategy right out of the mouths of their customers because a lot of times it's the little things that our customers appreciate that we just do because we think everybody does that. Well, and those are sort of obvious things that you you may feel as common sense, just yeah. like you know. Referrals are important, but that's right. those are sort of platitudes yeah. in, in a way. And so, how do you uh, tactically then? How right. do you uh, you know attack those problems with folks that? For sure. Well, the 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 very probably the thing I'm the most excited about, and, and from a tactical standpoint, and and I cover it in you know numerous chapters in this book because you know a lot of people think in terms of, when they think in terms of referrals, it's sort of limited to their customers, and that makes sense. I mean, they're they bought from them, they experienced them, they know how brilliant you are. I mean, yeah. that, you know, obviously that's a great customer or that's a great base to draw from. Right. Um, but one of the, the, to me, the real hidden opportunities is in what I would call a strategic partner network. Every small business should look at, if, if they have a customer, what they should start doing is they should start looking at that customer and saying, what is everything else that they need to, to get what they want out of their business or what they want out of their life? And, and could I identify best of class providers that, that could kind of be part of my team right. so that anytime my customer needed anything, I could say, oh, you need a garage door opener fixer? I, I've got a great one for you. I you know, and I can send that person to you. By starting that mindset, what they're going to do is, now I go into great detail about all the ways that you can actually formalize those relationships and how you can create opportunities for each other. Uh, but, but if you take that first mindset of being, how can I add more value to my customers by building this team, what you're going to find happening is that, that that's going to be become, potentially, if you do it right, your, your best source of new leads because those folks are going to start looking to you as being part of their team as well.